Well, good morning. A tow truck just pulled the SUV out of the car. You can see it's getting in position to tow that SUV out of this area. It was stolen uh, either late last night or early this morning. Now, CPD says that they weren't able to get inside the store to actually steal anything, but it did do a lot of damage to the building itself. The SUV crashed into round two near Milwaukee North around 4.30 this morning. This is the latest in a string of crash and grabs that have targeted shoe stores and high-end clothing stores in the past couple of weeks. Generally, a group of four to five people inside a stolen car crash their way in, jump out, take whatever they can, then leave in several waiting cars nearby. The owner of the SUV says he found out his car was stolen when Chicago police knocked on his Lincoln Park apartment door this morning. He says he had parked the SUV on the street outside of his apartment last night. He told me he's sick of these types of crimes and may move out of the city. It seems like a reoccurring issue in the city of Chicago, yeah. and it seems like it's an issue that hasn't, no one really cares about solving it or doing anything about. Well, you got a smile on your face. How is that possible? It's, it, it's funny. It's ridiculous that this happens probably every night, and no one in the city of Chicago seems to do anything to try and fix the issue. Why not? That SUV is total. The owners do tell me that they do believe that they will have some surveillance video that will show the SUV crashing into the building. The city had some people out here a little earlier this morning just to make sure that the building itself is structurally sound. There are apartments over the shoe store here, and we did see the owners just go inside a short time ago. Hopefully, we'll be able to take a look at that surveillance video a little later on this morning. For now, we are live in Wicker Park. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.